What's up, Calc Gang? Welcome back to some dynamics. So let's solve this problem. We have this ramp, or this, this ramp with a box sliding down it, and it travels five meters down the ramp, and then it falls off the ramp, and it falls and hits the ground 2.5 meters below. And our goal is to find, first of all, that distance R that it falls once it hits here, and then the time it takes to go from A to B. So let's get started. So what are we gonna need to solve this problem? Well, obviously we're gonna need to find the velocity at this point, is if we can find the velocity when it leaves the ramp, we just have a basic kinematics problem, which we know how to solve. Uh, so how are we gonna do that? Well, let's start with the force body diagram. If we can find the acceleration of the block down the ramp, we can find how long it takes to go down the ramp, we can find the velocity at the end of the ramp, it's gonna be very useful. So yes, we're gonna want a force body diagram. Rest in peace, bad cap. Okay, so we have our ramp here. So what do we have? Well, we know we have this kind of 30 degree slope. So pushing straight down is that force of gravity. And then perpendicular to the slope is that non force. So how are we gonna solve for this? Well, let's take some of the forces in the x direction. Um, all right, so we're gonna look at this angle. So this is gonna be tangents, and this is gonna be normal. Yeah, so we're interested in the tangent direction which is the, basically the direction down the ramp, which is this direction. So we want to find the acceleration in that direction. So if we want to take that, we're going to take some of the forces in the tangent direction. It's going to be equal to mass acceleration in the tangent direction. And what forces do we have? Well, if we look sideways, it's just going to be that force of gravity. All right, this is 30 degree angle. That's going to be force of gravity, but this will be that sine of 30. So there we go. So, um, now let's solve. So, uh, of course, it's gonna be mass acceleration tangent is equal to mass gravity sine of 30. The masses are gonna cancel, and acceleration tangent is gonna be equal to 9.81 times sine of 30, which is 1 half. You're gonna find that acceleration in that tangent direction is gonna be equal to 4.905 meters a second squared. Okay, so that's how fast we're accelerating down the ramp. So now we kinda just have a kinematics problem to find how long it takes to get to the end of that ramp. So, I guess I don't really need this. So, what's that equation going to be that we're going to use? Well, let's use the velocity final. It's going to the velocity initial squared plus 2AT, A delta X. All right, so we have this equation, so let's plug in what we know. First, we're looking for velocity final, which is going to be at velocity point C. So, let's label this velocity at C. All right, the velocity initial is zero, starting at rest at A. So let's take the square root to go to that squared. That's going to be 2, acceleration 4.905. Change in x, we know that's 5 meters. So our velocity at point C is 7 meters a second. All right, so now we have basically a simple kinematics problem. So if we want to find how far the block travels, we basically want to find how long it takes to hit the ground, and then we're just going to multiply that by its velocity in the x direction. So let's start with finding how long it takes to hit the ground. All right, so our equation is going to be y is equal to y fine, no, for y initial, plus velocity y time plus one half gravity times squared. So we're solving for time. So let's go ahead and solve. So initial heights, let's take that to be 2.5, and the final is going to be zero. So zero is equal to 2.5 plus velocity y. So that's going to be seven. But then we just went the y direction, so it's going to be sine of 30. Oh. My bad. Just seven sine of 30. And then time, we are solving for that. And then gravity, one half, nine, one, eight, one, times squared. Okay, so of course we got a little bit of a, you know, our quadratic formula we're going to use here. We got A, B, and C. Uh, so if you plug that into the quadratic equation, you're going to find that that time from C to B is equal to, where is that? 0 0.441 seconds. So very useful. Now we just need to look in the x direction. So if we look in the x direction, we're using the same equation, but in the x. So basically it's gonna be r is equal to velocity in the x direction, so seven cosine of 30 this time, times the time, 0 0.441. So we got this. Uh, you find that that r value, that's what we're solving for, that's not an r. It's equal to 2.8, 6, 8 meters. And that's our final answer for part A.
So now we just need to find the time it takes to go all the way from A to B. So we found the time from C to B, so let's go ahead and find the time from A to C, right? The time it takes to go down this ramp here. So what do we know? Well, we know the acceleration during that period is negative 4.905 meters a second. So if you want to find the time it takes to do that, we're just going to use another one of those equations. Um, so that equation is going to be delta x is equal to 1 half b final minus b initial times time. All right, so we know, we know all of these, right? We know b final, we know b initial, we know change in x, so we're just solving for t. So if you do this, you're going to get t, of course, is equal to 2 delta x over b final because b initial is equal to 0. So it's going to equal to 2, change in position, 5 over 7, which is velocity final. And find that time is right 10 over 7. So if you want to find that total time from A to B, you're going to take that 10 over 7, add it to the time it takes to go from C to B, 0 0.441, and that total time is equal to 1.87 seconds. And there we go. That's how you solve this problem. Pretty cool question, right? It's just a mix of the kinematics equation with some force body diagrams. Not too tricky. If you have any questions, feel free to check out my playlist. I have a whole lot of videos on this. I'm going to make a website, but it might not be around for a couple of years. So if you want to wait for that, if, it, if you're watching this video and it's more than two years from now, I might have a card put up for my website. That would be totally cool. So check that out if you want to. Uh, yeah, but anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.